the need for kidney transplantation, unfortunately, keeps growing in the United States. Um, there are more and more people with uh, renal failure every year. In fact, it's projected that uh, there's going to be close to 600,000 people with renal failure uh, within the next uh, few years. And by 2020, that number is expected to swell to about 800,000. Uh, and then if you look at the actual number of people that need a kidney transplant, there's about 85,000 people waiting for kidney transplantation in the United States today, which is an enormous number. Um, we're only able to transplant maybe about 10 to 12,000 of those people every year. So that means, unfortunately, there's a significant number that die waiting for their transplant. And the major reason for that is there's just not enough organs. And um, one of the things that we've found is that it's been very difficult to increase the supply of organs from a cadaver. So we've focused more and more recently on trying to make better use of our living donors. And um, the reason we've been able to do that is that the results for living donation are phenomenal. Um, most people think that it's something new, but in fact, we've been practicing live donor kidney transplants now for over half a century. 1954 was the first year the first successful human uh, live kidney donor transplant was performed. And we've gotten really good at it. Um, and there's been major advances in how that donor operation is performed. It's um, evolved from being a very major operation with a long hospital stay to now what's what we call a minimally invasive operation. And the way we practice it here at New York Presbyterian, it's actually done through a very small single two-inch incision right at the belly button. Uh, when it heals, you can barely see the scar. Um, when people have this type of operation performed in this way, they're up, out of bed the very same day of surgery, and they're able to go home the next day or the day after at the latest. And they're back at work within three weeks. So, you know, it's an operation that's very well tolerated. It produces a phenomenal result um, in helping save uh, another person's life. Uh, and we focus more and more on trying to expand our opportunities for our patients that are waiting on our lists um, to allow them to get a living donor. Because not only does it allow them to get transplanted faster, but more importantly, if you look at the results between living donation and those compared to a transplant from a cadaver, um, we know that the kidney is going to last twice as long if it's from a living donor compared to a cadaver. So there's a double benefit. People get transplanted faster, uh, which means they get less sick waiting to get transplanted, and then they get a better quality graft. And we feel comfortable doing this because we now know from over half a century of experience that the donors tolerate this well. The risk to them is no more than a, than a standard appendectomy or gallbladder operation that's performed by the thousands in this country. Um, so it ends up being a win-win situation for everybody.